Welcome to Electra Online. So let's take a, a look at a few places around the world and see how the diurnal temperature range changes with changing humidity regions or regions that have vastly different types of humidity. Now South Africa has kind of a kind of climate that is relatively dry in most of the places unless we go right to some of the coastline areas where the humidity is a little bit higher but we can see that the temperature, the diurnal temperature range in South Africa varies from about 13 centigrade degrees to about 16 centigrade degrees. What's important here though, that the 13 centigrade degrees typically is around February and the 16 centigrade degrees is typically around August. Now in South Africa, August is their winter time and February is their summer time. So you can see that in their summer where the temperatures are higher and therefore the amount of water vapor in the atmosphere is therefore greater, we see a smaller temperature range. In August when the temperatures cool down, you can see that the temperature range becomes larger, there's less water vapor in the atmosphere and as an effect we have a larger difference between daytime and nighttime temperatures. In the United States the differences are even larger. There's vast regions where the climate is very different. If we go to the eastern portion of the country, we can see that typically the diurnal temperature range varies from about 10 to 15 Fahrenheit degrees, with some places where it's a little bit higher. But by and large, there's a lot more water vapor in the atmosphere in this part of the country, a lot more rain, a lot more rivers and lakes and things like that. And so we can see that the difference between day and nighttime temperatures there are relatively small. As we move further to the west, we see that that begins to increase. Once we get past like certain regions like Oklahoma and Texas and so forth and we go further west from there, things become much, much drier and the diurnal temperature range begins to increase quite a bit. There are certain places like some of the very dry mountains that are somewhat inland from the coast in California. There's places where the difference between day and night can be as much as 50 Fahrenheit degrees. And also here in eastern Washington and Oregon, where surprisingly it can be extremely dry with average rainfall down to seven inches per year, we can see that there's some very large differences between day and nighttime temperatures in some of these regions. Of course, when we go further up here in the corner, where we're closer to the coast, and there's a lot of rain there in that part of the country, you will see that the difference drops by quite a bit and becomes much more in line with what we see on the eastern part of the country. So you can see that the amount of water vapor in the atmosphere can have tremendous differences between the day or can cause tremendous differences between the day and nighttime temperatures and we see this kind of thing all over the world. Here's just a couple examples to exemplify how important it is to have water vapor in the atmosphere to keep the heat in. If there's zero water vapor in the atmosphere the entire world would cool down to tremendous levels down to almost zero degrees Fahrenheit almost minus 20 degrees centigrade because the lack of water vapor would really make it very uncomfortable for us to live on this planet. And that's how it is.